Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This video is going to be about resetting a forgotten root password on a Red Hat based Linux system. There's actually a, a, a story that goes behind this video. I was needing to do some work on my free PBX VM that I use to run VoIP for the LLC. And I needed to log into the, um, the console to, to be able to do some uh, some maintenance work. There was a, a piece of the GUI that had been broken and I needed to uh, get console access to to um, fix the package that was broken. And lo and behold, I go to log in as root and the password that I was quite sure that I used apparently is, is not what I had set when I had made the VM. So I had to do this exact procedure to be able to get back the, or not not really get back, but to, to reset the, the root password. So I figured I'd make a video about it and share it with you. So in your travels as a system administrator, if you have to, or not if, when, because at some point you, you are going to forget your root password, if you have to uh, reset that password, you, you can follow these steps and, and should have a, a good degree of success. Before I dive in, I want to remind you, if you enjoy the content of the video, make sure you click like and also subscribe to the channel and ring the bell when you do so you can be aware of when new content comes available. So I have here on the right my uh, free PBX demo VM and this is uh, using free PBX 15 and I'm going to attempt to log in as root and lo and behold it's not going to let me because prior to starting this video I um, did a little random password and I have since uh, forgotten what it is so the question is what do you do now well not necessarily un un unfortunately this is probably a good thing to be able to do this procedure on a, a free PBX system or or any other um, Red Hat based system you're gonna need to have console access so um, if it's a VM, you, I'm, I'm running uh, Virtual Machine Manager here to have console access for my um, my production free PBX system that's hosted on a um, VPS service, and so that uh, VPS service does um, allow console access. The other thing to note is that the system is going to be down for. Um, just a little bit because what we're going to do is interrupt the boot process to be able to change the the, the uh, root password which as um, that implies we're going to have to reboot the system so if you do forget the root password and maybe it's not a mission critical thing you can wait until your change window or maintenance hours or, or, or whatever to, to do this procedure so what I'm going to do is force a reset of this VM and the first thing I'm going to do is interrupt the um, the countdown for the the grub menu. So I'm going to do force reset. It's going to ask me if I'm sure, and I am. And I'm going to press any key, and that has now stopped the countdown for the grub menu. And you can see Sangoma Linux, uh, Linux, Sangoma Linux, which is the distribution that that Free PBX uses. It's a customized version of of sent OS 7. So what we're going to do is press E to um, to edit the grub menu here. And what we're looking for is the Linux 16 line. Now this looks like multiple lines for it, but it's really just one big line of, of commands. And so we're going to go to, so here's the Linux 16 line here. We're going to go to the end of that line, so right after the word quiet, we're going to type rd.break. So what this is going to do is interrupt the uh, boot process um, in the when, when we're in the init ram F, uh, file system init ram fs, and that's going to allow us to to make the change to the root password. Now uh, some of you might be thinking, hey, this is a pretty big flaw. You know, you, know, you can just reboot a Linux system and do this and change the root password. Well. I wouldn't call it a flaw because to be able to do this you have to have console access to the machine which pretty much means any physical security and for physical security in a virtual environment this is you know getting access to um, to the the hypervisor itself and such you know once physical security is breached there's only so much you can do to to protect yourself so anyway, so we've typed rd.break. We're going to press control X to continue on the, the boot process. 
and as you can see we're in emergency mode now you would think all right so let's just do password d root and change the password and it's going to say that password D is, is, is not found. Well, the reason, I'm going to do an LS here, the reason why that's not found is the, the path that, that, that you would expect to find password D is not available. And, and in fact, if I were to do an LS on sysroot, here we find what we typically have in our root directory on, on our system. So, you would think, all right, maybe if I just go into to sysroot and run, find where pass passwd is and run it from there, it'll work. And unfortunately, it's it's not going to work for a couple of reasons. One, uh, you'll you'll get an error about um, not having the virtual path of some sort, which unfortunately is outside of my um, knowledge scope of, of exactly why that's a problem. The other issue, if I were to do mount mount command grep that to sys and grep sysroot out of it you're going to see that this is if you were to start at the line here get to type xfs and then start reading the options you'll notice that it's read only so we're we're even even if we could run the passwd command we're not going to be able to um to change any values in the etsy shadow file which is what needs to happen to be able to to change a password so what we need to do is remount the sysroot as read write. So the way we'll do that is mount dash O and the two options that we're going to do is R remount and then a comma, then RW for read write, then sysroot. So now if we do mount grep sysroot we see that that option the options have changed to to read write there's one other step that we need to do is and that is change what is considered the root directory and we're going to change that to where this is basically acting like a a booted system as far as what you would expect starting at the the the, the root directory is is everything you would expect it to be and your um, path variable which is what is used to help the system figure out where passwd is is going to function fine for you so to do that we're going to do change root or ch root sys root and so now if i were to do an ls we see what 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 we would expect to see and if i do passwd it's going to function. It's going to ask me to to create a new password for the uh, user root. So I'm going to make me a new password here, and then it's going to say it'll tell me it's a bad password because it fails the the dictionary check. It's based on a dictionary word, and yes, um, monkey one two three is probably it is a bad password. But I figure for a, a demo, why not? So put that back in again. And it's going to tell me that all authentication tokens updated successfully. Now, for free PBX, this is likely the the last thing that that that, that you have to do. On non-free free PBX and using uh, CentOS 8 or 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 any other uh, Red Hat based distro, we have to do something for SE Linux because what's going to happen is the Etsy password D file has changed and the SE Linux context that it has has also changed so when it reboots SE Linux is going to go nope that's that's not going to work we're, we're, we're not going to um, to allow the the change to happen and your, your password change is not going to to be in effect I happen to know that free or at least my the the default configuration I have for this free PBX um, 15 VM SE Linux is not in enabled but if you do find that, that that this procedure doesn't work, um, when I do the example for CentOS 8, I'll show you what to add to make SE Linux uh, function for you as far as making this password reset. So I'm going to press a, or tap exit now, or type exit rather. That ends the change root session. We're going to exit again. And at this point, the VM is going to reboot.
it'll take just a moment here. It's the beauty of using VMs, they're pretty quick. And so I'll type root. I'll put in my password of monkey123. And I'm now back in the free PBX system. And if I wanted to, I can use password uh, passwd again to change the password from being monkey123. Now, during the time that we're changing the password and we've, we've remounted sysroot and we changed root into it, your, your system is going to be down because we're not fully booted. So again, if, it, if, if you have to do this in a production environment, if you can, see if you can get by until you get to your, your maintenance window. So, but because the, the, the system itself is probably going to function even if you've forgotten the root password. So while it seems like an emergency, it might be able to wait. I'm going to do this again on the sent OS system here that I have on the left, and I'm going to show you the the uh, difference. So, uh, let's see what password I set that to. All right, so the current password that, that that I have works. So now what I'm going to do is, and I'll do SE status to show you that SE Linux is enabled on the system. I'll do it from free PBX demo just to prove the point here. And you see that SE Linux is disabled on the free PBX system. So I'm going to exit. And let's say that I have forgotten my root password and I'm not able to, to log in. Well, we're going to follow the, the same steps as we did for uh, free PBX. So I'm going to reset the system. We'll interrupt the. Um, the countdown on the grub screen, press E to edit. And notice we don't have a Linux 16 line. However, we do have the, the, the Linux line. And this is what we're going to want to, um, to alter to be able to break into the boot process. So rd.break, control X. And in just a moment, that will boot us into that emergency mode. All right, so again, if I were to do ls, we have something very similar to what was there on the free PBX system. I'm going to remount sysroot as uh, read write. So mount dash o remount read write sysroot. I'm going to change root into it. Pass wd. We're going to change the pa password for the user root. I'm going to also set it to monkey123. That's going to tell me it's a bad password. Now I'm going to do the exact same steps I did on the, the, the free PBX system. So I've changed the password and it's now monkey123. Exit. Exit. It's going to reboot. This might take just a little bit. And there we go. So root. Let's try monkey123. And it failed. That's the password I'm trying. Root. Just as if I fat fingered it. And even though I know you can't see the characters that are coming on the screen, trust me when I say I didn't fat finger it. So the problem here is that SE Linux. So we're going to go back through the process. And I'll show you what you need to add for to, to, to account for SE Linux. So we're going to force the reset, interrupt the boot process, or interrupt the countdown rather. Press E to edit the grub menu. We go back to our Linux line, rd.break, control X to load that initram fs. Again, it takes just a moment or so. And we're going to Remount 
as read write the sys root change root into sys root and again pass wd this time I'll do monkey one two three with a capital M and it has set it but there is one other thing that we need to do before we start to exit out and that is we need to create a hidden file called auto relabel and it needs to be in the root directory of your change root environment so if I were to ls dash a we have our normal stuff we're going to do touch dot slash auto or sorry touch dot auto relabel and when we do that if I were to do oh, let me get back in focus here slash dash a we see that auto relabel is there having that auto relabel file is going to tell SE Linux to redo all of the security context and it's going to do that on the pass uh, the Etsy shadow file which is going to allow the password reset to take effect so now we're going to exit exit again it'll reboot we see the warning about SE Linux is doing a policy relabel this isn't going to take um, too much time because this is just a um, basic um, installation of CentOS 8. Now mind you during this time again if you're having to do this in, in, in a production environment this is going to to still be down for your your, your users because the, the system is not up just yet. It took a couple of minutes to do the um, the temp folder for the auto relabel but now we're back on our login screen and we'll do root capital M monkey one two three and now we're we're back into our system and S um, C status shows that SE Linux is enabled and enforcing so that is the procedure for resetting a root password on a Red Hat based system using the RD uh, dot break tool or the uh, using the RD dot break option to be able to get into in at Ram FS and also showing if you have a system where SE Linux is enabled what you would need to do to um, have SE Linux allow that um, password change to be able to happen. I hope you in, enjoyed the video and found it useful for you. If you do, make sure you click like. Also, on the uh, lower left corner of the video, you can click the subscribe button and ring the bell when you do so you can be aware of when new content comes available. And feel free to share this with, with anyone that, that you think would, would uh, find it useful. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next time.